to share with you today, we have some really exciting news to share with you. Internal Revenue Service IRS has recently made a significant statement that is going to revolutionize the lives of a great number of senior citizens all throughout the country. Senior citizens who get benefits from Social Security, SSI, SSDI, or the Veterans Administration are going to receive payments in the amount of $2,000. People who may be having difficulty with their finances can benefit from these checks, which are similar to a boost of help this video contains. In this section, we are going to delve more into the significance of this news and the reasons why it is so vital. These payments are going to assist senior citizens in covering their day-to-day -day needs, such as shopping for groceries, paying rent, or paying medical bills. They are receiving a little bit of more assistance at the time when they require it the most. A number of older citizens who are ecstatic about the possibility of receiving these checks will also share their thoughts with us. We will give them the opportunity to share their experiences and discuss the ways in which this financial assistance will significantly impact their life. However, this is related to more than simply the checks themselves. It is a component of a bigger effort to ensure that our elderly population is supported and cared for in the appropriate manner. We are going to talk about the reasons why it is so important to look out for our elderly people, as well as the ways in which projects such as this one may help to improve the quality of life for everyone. Commissioner of the Internal Revenue Service, Danny Werfel, noted that the desperation of millions of Americans who are struggling to make ends meet and who are disabled has been loud and clear. Our most recent action to aid in providing essential financial support to individuals who are most adversely affected by the high cost of food is the payment of $2,000. As of the end of the year 2022, the Social Security Administration reported that there were more than 65 million people in the United States receiving these payments. In general, the monthly payment is $1,691 on average. Individuals who are currently receiving Social Security survivor payments would also be eligible. On the other hand, individuals who receive Social Security benefits for their spouse or kid may only be eligible for a lesser benefits amount. If their total household income is higher than specific criteria, they will receive a prorated amount of the stimulus. People who are disabled and seniors who are 65 years old or older who have limited income and resources are eligible to receive financial support through supplemental security income, sometimes known as SSI. Over 8 million people are currently enrolled in the supplemental security income SSI program. In the event that they meet the program's stringent income slash asset criteria, senior citizens and children who receive supplemental security income SSI would be eligible for the whole $2,000 stimulus measure. A total of $4,000 would be awarded to couples who are receiving SSI. Any individual who is currently receiving benefits from Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, would be eligible to receive the $2,000 payout. There are around 7.1 million disabled workers who are currently receiving Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, with the average monthly payout being $1,211. Those who are qualified for Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, who also receive a Social Security spouse or child benefit, may only be eligible for a prorated stimulus amount that is determined by their total household income. To all veterans and survivors who are receiving disability compensation, a pension from the Department of Veterans Affairs, or any other VA benefits for low-income veterans would be eligible to receive the stimulus checks of $2,000. Over 5 million veterans are currently receiving disability payments from the Department of Veterans Affairs, which amount to approximately $1,791 per month on average. Those who have retired from the service and are now receiving a pension from the Veterans Administration would also be eligible. However, it is not obvious whether active duty troops or retirees from the military with higher incomes could be barred from the program. For those with higher incomes that are getting the benefits outlined above, these proposed $2,000 checks would likely be phased off over time, in contrast to the wide stimulus payments that were previously made. The entire details are still being decided, but it is possible that the stimulus amounts will begin to be phased down for beneficiaries who are single and have an adjusted gross income of more than $75,000, and for those who are married and have an adjusted gross income of more than $150,000. In order to determine any prorated amounts for households with higher incomes, the Internal Revenue Service may apply equivalent formulas. This new stimulus payment of $2,000 is scheduled to be sent by the Internal Revenue Service IRS in two waves during the summer of 2023. The first wave is anticipated to be distributed in the month of July and it will cover all recipients of Social Security retirement benefits, including SSDI, SSI and VA benefits, who already have their most recent tax return and payment information on file with the Internal Revenue Service. People who receive Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, Supplemental Security Income, SSI, and Low Income Veterans Affairs, VA benefits, and do not typically file tax returns, but are required to provide the Internal Revenue Service with updated payment information. But Social Security recipients whose most recent income details have not yet been processed, and people who are eligible for a prorated stimulus amount due to higher incomes. Because of this delayed second wave, the Internal Revenue Service has extra time to cross-reference records of government pay and process any new information that is supplied. It is possible that this group will not receive their paper checks or debit cards until the beginning of October.
Officials from the Internal Revenue Service advise all individuals who may be eligible to receive stimulus funds to file their tax returns for the year 2022 as soon as possible and provide information regarding their current payment status in order to make the distribution process easier. All recipients who have previously opted for electronic payment will have their stimulus checks of $2,000 paid directly into their accounts, as stated by the Internal Revenue Service IRS. The Internal Revenue Service intends to issue a prepaid debit card that is filled with the stimulus amount for those who do not have their direct deposit information on file or who do not have a bank account. Paper checks may also be mailed out in some circumstances, which is a more time-consuming process that can take anywhere from four to six weeks from the time payment is granted. In an effort to avoid the backlogs and delays that plagued earlier stimulus rollouts, the Internal Revenue Service IRS is working to maintain a low level of paper checks. In order to ensure that all potential recipients receive their payment as promptly as possible, the agency strongly encourages them to submit their direct deposit information and electronically complete their tax return for the year 2022. Individuals who are having difficulty accessing online filing might receive assistance from tax preparers and charitable tax clinics. Uh, this proposed stimulus for older citizens and people with disabilities comes with a high price tag of $148 billion, making it one of the most significant direct cash assistance programs that has been implemented in recent years. In contrast, the administration of Vice President Joe Biden contends that it is a wise investment that will help vulnerable populations rise above the increasing economic tides. Those who are elderly or disabled have been among those who have been impacted the hardest by inflation, as the consumer price index has increased by more than 6% compared to the previous year. In spite of this, Social Security payouts only increased by a meager 5.9% in 2023 to compensate for the increasing rates of inflation. In addition, a recent poll conducted by the Senior Citizens League discovered that 40% of retirees have already spent their emergency, spent their emergency funds in order to keep up with the escalating costs of essentials such as food, housing, utilities and medical care. This forced stimulus may potentially bring more than 6.1 million senior citizens above the federal poverty level, according to an analysis conducted by the IRS. According to projections, it will raise consumer spending in local economies by at least $35 billion, which will result in a rise in GDP. Furthermore, it has the potential to offer indirect support for more than 450,000 additional jobs across important industries such as retail, healthcare and services that are geared toward older demographics. One of the quickest and most targeted ways to get cash into people's pockets is through direct payments made by the company. Individuals who are elderly or disabled and who are not receiving adequate assistance. Governor Janet Yellen, the Secretary of the Treasury, expressed her support for the idea. Every $2,000 invested in this area ought to have an economic multiplier impact. So bolstering local employment opportunities and small enterprises while minimizing the risk of inflation. In spite of the fact that it would provide much needed assistance, the suggestion for a stimulus package of $2,000 has caused some MPs and economists to raise their voices in concern regarding the expenses. Considering that it would cost $148 billion, it would be one of the most expensive acts of government assistance in recent years. In spite of the fact that the White House has previously authorized $5 trillion in pandemic relief packages over the course of the past three years, conservative critics have criticized the administration for increasing the deficit spending. They believe that additional stimulus will just make the burden of the fiscal debt that is being passed on to future generations even worse, and it could even overheat an economy that is already in the process of recovering. At this point in time, the last thing that we require is yet another wave of inefficient stimulus that will only serve to fuel further inflation.